Today, we're going to talk about the number one best job in America for 2020. And no surprise here, it's software development. So just a few days ago, the U.S. News and World Report released their annual survey of the top 100 jobs in America. And the number one job they ranked as software developer. And it's no surprise if when you start thinking about it. Now, what's really cool about software developer, it's been number one for the past three years. Now, number two is a dentist, and number three would be a physician's assistant. But let's talk about why they ranked software development as the number one job. And I wanna tell you some more things about how you would break in and also like why I think it's the best job and why in 2020, if you're gonna start a learning journey, there's no better year than this year. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications on all our great new content. The U.S. News and World Report puts out their annual list of the top 100 jobs in America and for three years running and has been software developer. But you may ask yourself, sure, why? Why is that that number one job? What makes it the best job? Of course, you're going to say that you run a boot camp. And that's true, but we didn't write this article. These people created this list and they ranked them by some key metrics. Now, one of the metrics that they use to do this is median salary. And they did a study and the median salary for software developers is 103,000. And that is a very high salary when you compare that to other types of positions in America. Another factor they use to determine the 100 best jobs or the number one job is unemployment rate. And for software developers, that was 1.6%. Yes, that's not 16%, that's 1.6%. And that is really, really low, which means that if you have the necessary skills and you're in the US, you're going to be employed. The third thing they looked at was the number of predicted openings in 2020 in America. And that came back at 241,500 new jobs in 2020. That means that there's not nearly enough computer science degrees, boot camp graduates, people getting out of Udemy to take all of these jobs. And so that means if you're looking at starting your learning journey this year, or you're just entering the market, that should give you a lot of hope that if you have the necessary skills to, to be a software developer, that you will find work and it will be very profitable in this industry. But there's some other hidden ones that I think that make this job even stronger that's not in the article and I thought I would bring those up to you next. So one of the key factors that I think is not apparent in the report is the lower barrier to entry to being a software developer. So if you look at like dentist and physician's assistant, you can see that that's gonna take seven to eight years of study. You need a doctorate or you need some kind of master's, you need a residency. There's a lot of things that have to happen before you can take that job. With software development, that is a little bit different. Literally now we can go to a 12 week boot camp, and then three months later I can take a job as a software developer. Now to be fair, you're probably not gonna make 103 coming out of a boot camp, but it puts you on the path to where you can. We see Coder Foundry graduates all the time follow our plan, and within three years, they're typically making that median salary of 100 to 103,000. That's a very common story coming from our boot camp. The other thing that I want you to consider is there has never been a better time in our history where the amount of education options that you have to you to learn how to be a software developer is very broad and diverse. You can use an online course, you can go to a boot camp, or you can go to a two-year college. It doesn't take eight years to break in. And I think that should encourage you if you're trying to career switch or you're trying to look for fulfilling career. Make 2020 your year to learn how to code and there's never been a better time to do it than now. So you may ask yourself the question, is the job really great? Why is it so great? I mean, we know it's ranked number one, you can make money, but why is the job so great? Well, I do think that there's a long-term career viability in it that sets it apart from a lot of other professions. The amount of information, the amount of services, the amount of things that are being built right now will increasingly create more and more demand for software developers. So you're always going to be in demand. This puts to a point that I talk about all the time is that software development is the economic mobilizer of our time, which means that you can make an above average salary, and that's one way that, it, that you can make more money than you can in other professions, but it goes further than that. 
you also can work in practically any industry. If you're a dentist, you're going to always be a dentist. If you're a software developer, you may be working at a logistics company, you may be working for healthcare, or you may be working for a social media giant. And you can see how your software and development skills can translate to multiple industries, which can be rewarding, fulfilling, and very interesting. As you want to, if your interest changes, you can change your job, but you're still doing coding, but you're just doing it at, say, you know, an entertainment factory or something else like that. And I think that is very exciting. So we can move around in our job sector. The third thing is if you're at a bad company or you have a bad boss, you can simply quit because you can go back and look at that 1.6 unemployment rate. And especially if you're committed to your craft, you can simply quit and find a job that better suits you. Maybe the culture's a better fit for you, or maybe the boss isn't as mean, or you have better work-life balance. All of those things, can you put it together, makes this the number one job that you can possibly get into. So to sum this up, why is software development the number one job in America? Well, we can look at obviously the salary, the low unemployment, and all the things that we mentioned, like the ability for you to work in any industry you want, it's very rewarding, and seemingly the endless amount of jobs that are gonna be available in the future. And so when you think about your prospects, the things that you can achieve, the where you can go, there is no other job like it. If you're a dentist, you're always a dentist. As a software developer, you can work in any industry that you want. So if you're thinking about it and you want to become a software developer and you think you need a teacher, a coach, or a mentor to do it, Coder Foundry would be honored to be that for you. Go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap and we can put you on that path to get that first software job. But if you want to use online sources or go to college, those are all great routes. Just take advantage of being a software developer in 2020. Well, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.